first my first political job was as a, a, a door to door canvasser in Chicago um, in 1981 and yeah, on energy issues and I remember going around knocking on these doors and people would sign and they'd say well it's really nice that you're doing this you'll learn when you get older that you can't change anything <laughs> like damn it we can change it you know so I, I, I still sort of think of that as a personal challenge The American people are losing respect for and trust in their government. And that, in a democracy, you can't, a democracy cannot thrive if people don't believe in their government and in their elected officials. The health industry is spending, has so far this year, spent $1.4 million a day, just $2,600 per member per day, on lobbying on health care. And uh, it's actually what we started calling it the, the toxic cocktail. When you put together the, the dependence on the campaign, that campaign cash, and then combined with the lobbying expenditures, it's pretty hard for uh, members to do the right thing. Some of it might be people making honest errors, and some of it might be honest disagreement. But it's impossible under the present circumstances to say that some of the reason that these common sense things is not being done is money coming from big donations with interest to protect. Mm -hmm. I hate the fact that the general public thinks that every time I raise a dollar, I mean a lot. I hate it. It's bad not just for me, it's bad for the system, it's bad for people's perception of government. It is possible, in my mind, that if we had something like this funded uh, in California, we wouldn't have those rigid ideological battles that ended up uh, dominating the end game. And what we're hearing from members of Congress now is that they hate the current system. They hate having to raise all the money, and the cost of campaigns and the fundraising demands keep going up and up. Um, and uh, they don't like the susp suspicion that they're under for whether they're acting out of uh, the best interests of their constituents or not because of money. Um, and they, you know, a lot of them, a lot of them who have not been supporters in the past are now saying we got we have to change this. Mm -hmm. Some members are characterizing themselves as like telemarketers. You know, they're they're lawmakers till like four o'clock and then they go to their to where they raise money and they become telemarketers or you know they feel dirty when they have to keep asking for all this money, all this money, all this money. And you know when the freshmen came in they were astounded that they were being asked to spend twenty percent of their time raising money. And when they said, like, who's going to give us all this money, um, they were told, raise money from the people who, who um, have business in your committees. So people are raising money from the people whose lives, whose regulatory lives and legislative lives they hold in their hand. And it's just, it's a bad, corrupting system. The way we do our elections affects everything else. And uh, there's a long list of everything else needs to be dealt with, some of which has been hanging fire for as long as I've been reading the newspapers. And <clears throat> I think this is a common denominator for all of them. The stars aligned. There is, you know, on the outside, the connections between uh, money and, and what happens with change or the lack of change is clearer than ever before. And on the inside, Members do not like the current system. It, 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 it wrecks their personal lives. It makes their jobs stink. They can't do what they came here for. And, uh, you know, when you, if we can align those two things, then we have a real chance at turning it around. So getting the word out, making people aware that there's a real opportunity here, couldn't be more important than it is now.
great thing is that there is a bill. And so you can call your congressman and your senator and say, back this bill. And the bill's name is the Fair Elections Now Act. And it's before both houses right now. So tell them before it. Tell them they better before it too.